I think what you're probably referring to by inheritance, it's not like you inherited something, but uh, it's more like what you got exposed to. It's your lineage. I think lineage might have been the word that I use. Okay, you make a choice who you're going to work with uh, as a postdoc or a student or what have you. But you make those choices, and so you choose your lineage. Okay, so I, I would just suggest to everybody, young, young young people listening, choose your lineage very wisely. Okay, most people choose their lineage because, oh, I don't know, someone speaks well, or they uh, they give a better lecture than the next guy, or it's a sexier topic, and you know, it's not like those things are unimportant. Okay, but there's also a way in which a professor or, or a mentor um, deals with people, uh, the way he thinks, the way he or she thinks about a problem. Uh, you know, uh, there are deeper things. And so, when I look back on it, on the, and I wouldn't single one person. I've had the absolute benefit of having uh, wonderful uh, and special mentors, both as an undergraduate in research, as a PhD student in research, as a postdoc in research, and even as an assistant professor. When I look back on it, I can see that each of these people, I took away from each of these scientists a small part of what made them that I internalized. And it somehow became me by a form of osmosis. And by bringing together complementary bits from different people, okay, uh, I, I think of it as a kind of hybrid vigor in plants. So I, what, the me that became me is someone who wasn't any one of them, uh, possible, but, but, but I'd like to think brought together some of their better qualities to make up for probably deficiencies that I have that they didn't have that might be irredeemable.